Back with us now is Elaine Mag, a senior fellow at the Urban Institute, to talk to us about how the midterms could impact uh, tax policy. Elaine, so if Republicans were to take the House and the Senate, what would this mean for people's wallet, their taxes? Um, in some cases, taxes would go down for very high income families. The Republicans would like to extend the um, permanently lower rates for um, high income families and corporations. On the other hand, Democrats would like to deliver the extended expanded child tax credit that they had in place in 2021, which would be a bump of an additional $1,000 for families with children ages six to 17 and $1,600 for families with children under age six. Um, the Democrats are also interested in pushing a larger earned income tax credit um, for workers, particularly those without children at home. Um, Medicare and Social Security, Republicans are interested in reducing those taxes and also reducing benefits. Democrats are interested in raising those taxes on very high income families to shore up existing benefits. And the final difference is probably just in the feelings about the IRS. The Democrats would like to deliver an IRS that collects all of the taxes owed. Presently, we collect about 85% of taxes owed. And even as recently as yesterday, prominent Republicans have said we should abolish the uh, IRS altogether. And out of the tax initiatives that you just mentioned, of course, depending on who wins, uh, which ones do you think will make it through? Is it the child tax credit uh, from 2021, extending that? Uh, would it be extending the earned income tax credit? If the Democrats win and get just one more vote, they'll be able to push the child tax credit. Biden has indicated it's a big priority, as have several key senators. It's the program that reduced child poverty to its lowest level we've seen in decades um, by about 30 percent. And what about public support for these initiatives? Because we are in an era of high inflation. So is, is, does the public support these initiatives, whether it be from Republicans or from Democrats? So the public indicated in recent surveys that they liked getting the child tax credit on a monthly basis. Um, they used it to pay for food and meet regular expenses. So I'd say there's plenty of support there. We just need um, enough members of Congress to push it through. Um, the public does not tend to uh, support cutting Social Security benefits or Medicare benefits. And so I think the plans that would shore up those benefits um, with high income families are more popular than delaying benefits. Um, and then as far as the IRS is, I think people have mixed feelings. I think people believe that the IRS should work for them and do its job. Um, and there's just, it's not clear um, how to make that happen. And no one wants to pay more taxes, right? Thank you so much, Elaine Mag, Senior Fellow at the Urban Institute.